Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And the Vikings have a 3 nothing lead. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Complete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. On second down, it's Tomlinson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The Pro Bowler, Muhammad Wilkerson, brings him down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's L.A. with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. moves the sticks. And on display right there, the arm that made John Elway a lot of money. And that's going to leave a mark because when he throws it with that much force, one of the best arms the game has ever seen, one of the strongest ones, it does leave a mark. It had, they, they actually called it the Elway cross because <laughs> you can see the imprint on a player after he caught one of those bullet passes. First and 10, Elway. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach writing that note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. On second down, Elway. Over the middle. That's complete to McCaffrey. And he's brought down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Now Elway on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. My good friend Charles and I right back at you after this. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Elway to throw again. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They're going on fourth. It's Elway. He's going to air one out. And this 
is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. And out now come the Vikings. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defender's going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had somewhat open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Well, they get the completed pass, but still have more to go here on third down. On third down, Bridgewater. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing. Puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. So the offense has it first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. It's always a good play when you're able to bat a ball away or down because if you actually tip it in the air, now the offense is getting a second shot at catching the football or another receiver may come along and grab it out of the air and turn it into a big play. So if you make a play on the ball, make sure it's knocked away or down. Otherwise, it could be some jeopardy. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Play action now. Bridgewater. This is Cobb with a catch right side. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And that will make it 6 to nothing. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 nothing. probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. Final play of the half. It's Elway finding time. Left side here to Sanders. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee. And that's at the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now, he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but... Felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And the offense looking to pick up the first down. 
after the second down incompletion. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. To throw is Elway. And incomplete here on third down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Throwing is Bridgewater, and this is incomplete. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Let's go. Play 90. Go. Here's Bridgewater. Looking left side, that's caught by Macklin. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Four, four, One receiver three, left, two, two to the right. And the play clock's running down. A first down throw for Bridgewater. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second and goal. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Get ready. Move. Yeah. They'll throw again. Bridgewater. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs in that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again. In a... And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for L.A. 63 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Here's Elway to throw. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. And they're going to speed things up here. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Second down following the incompletion. Kelsey out in the slot right. All right, here we go. All right. Again, it's Elway. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. And some extras coming up on the line here, reading for the blitz. Third and goal, Elway. He's got now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. On fourth down, Elway can't find anyone open. 
And it is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. Now the minute.